a tin pin. Black Island. Nothing like a quiet, peaceful ride in the country. Huh, Captain? Aye, Tin Tin. If I never have any more excitement, it will be too soon already. Ah, uh, there's nothing like a drive in a good car. Uh -oh. Nothing like a good car? <laughs> I'll stop and check the motor. Blister and barnacles, it's purring like a kitten now. That's not this jalopy purring. Look, it's a plane. Hey, that plane's in trouble. It's gonna crash. He made it. I didn't hear any crash. Come on, Snowy. Maybe they need help. Wait for me, Tintin. Come on, Professor. Over the... <laughs> fence. There it is, Snowy. Looks like a leak in a fuel line. I'll have it fixed in a few minutes. Hi! Can I give you a hand? Now, where'd that creep come from? Get rid of him. Hmm, that's odd. No identification numbers on that plane. What's wrong, Snowy? Beat it, kid. Hey, what's a gun for? I'll scare the kid so bad he'll never come back. You fool, you hit him. Sounded like a gunshot. Come on. Thundering typhoons. Oops. I'll have you grounded for this. Hey, what's up, Snowy? Tintin. He's been shot. But, but what happened? Help me get the boy to the car, quick. Well, Doc, how is he? It was a close call, but the boy will be all right. I'll have to notify the police. Have no fear. The police are here. Thompson and Thompson, detective. I'll get those trigger-happy hoodlums if it takes the rest of me life. So, that nosy kid's picture is in all the papers, huh? Now every cop in the country will be looking for us. Gentlemen, we have no other choice. You must finish the job. Can Tintin... Tintin was headed for Sussex, but when he arrived at the airport, a car was following him. Later, a man reported a robbery. When the detectives arrived, the man claimed Tintin had robbed him. The Thompsons didn't believe it, and neither did Haddock. But the missing wallet was found on Tintin. The Thompsons had to arrest Tintin, but Tintin ran. He had to prove his innocence. Hurry, Captain! Halt! In the name of the law! Well, don't just sit there. Unlock these handcuffs. I'd love to, but I left the keys in my other pants. Looks like we've lost the Thompson twins. Good riddance. Somebody's trying to frame me, Captain. But who and why? We better report this to the police. First, we gotta slip past the Thompsons. Captain, do you see what I see? Thunder and typhoons. Those bags are going to Sussex. Thief or no thief, we can't keep our aircraft grounded any longer. Very well, you may blast off. But we'll be checking every passenger. Nobody will slip by us. Precisely. Nobody. <laughs> Blimey, it's Snowy! Look, Snowy's boarding the plane for Sussex. That's odd. He has no ticket. Sussex! Halt! Stop that plane! Halt! I 
insist. Halt! I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Roadhog! Tintin must be in that plane, all right. And Captain Haddock, too. I should be, but I got in the wrong bag. will radio ahead, and the police will be waiting at the first stop. We're over the coast now. Skipper, the warning signal! The escape hatch is open, in the luggage compartment! Don't worry, Snowy. We'll make it okay. If this parachute opens... Ready, Snowy? Hey, who... What are you doing in here? Hey, no, don't! Geronimo! Flight 600 to control tower. A stowaway just bailed out over Kingston Meadows. Send an ambulance and notify police. Snowy, we made it! Our troubles are over. <laughs> Snowy, we're landing on the railroad tracks. There's a train coming! I gotta miss those tracks! Uh-oh, the chute's gone! Snowy, look out! And Tim Tim is... Adventures of Tintin. Black Island. Intrigue. In trying to escape from the detectives, Tintin hid inside a sack of mail. The mail sacks were put on the plane and the plane took off. Tintin had made his getaway. But an alarm rang when Tintin opened an escape hatch and the pilot found Tintin. Tintin jumped and was falling straight for the railroad tracks with a train coming. His parachute was caught and Tintin was helpless as the train roared on. Snowy, they, they, they don't see us. Hang on, Snowy, it's our only chance. Don't let go, Snowy! Wow! I couldn't hold on much longer. But we made it! Huh, Snowy? Sussex must be around here someplace. We'll ask somebody. In that little village over here. Sussex? Sure thing, lady. Hop in. It's not too far to Sussex, it ain't. Hey, what's that up ahead? Looks like an accident. They've got the blooming road blocked. Maybe we can help them. What seems to be the trouble, gentlemen? You seems to be the trouble, Tintin. Uh-oh. It's the man from the airport. Right. I knew you would be here sooner or later. <laughs> Put away that pistol, sir, or I'll call a constable, I will. You better call an ambulance. You need one. Hey, you won't get away with this. I'll have both of you locked up. That's big talk from such a small boy. Shall I get rid of the kid, boss? Not here, you idiot. Help me get him into the car. <laughs> Too 
bad, young man. But your curiosity has led you into trouble. Step outside, young man. Who are you anyway? And what makes you think you'll get away with this? Don't talk. Walk. Okay, Ivan. Untie our nosy friend. <laughs> What well, a perfect place to have an accident. Go ahead, jump. Or do you prefer to be pushed? Ivan, we can't wait all day. Give him a little push. Tintin has no choice. Jump or be pushed. Don't miss. Mad Men. The next exciting episode of Thursday's Adventures of Tintin. Roger. Yeah, I've definitely heard that sound before. Mad Men. Tintin was on his way to Sussex when he noticed a car blocking the road. When Tintin went to investigate, he met the man who tried to frame him. Tintin threatened to call the police. But the crooks made a getaway. With Tintin in the car and Snowy on behind, the car stopped near a cliff. Tintin was about to be pushed off the cliff when Snowy picked a fight with a goat. Hurry, Ivan. Let's get this over with. Hey, Ivan, look! Snowy! Watch it, you mutt! Huh? What is that? Pardon my glove! All right, gentlemen, what's this cloak and dagger business all about? Watch it. They're coming back. Snowy! Quick, Ivan, to the car! Or I'll fire! They get away! Mm. Well, nice try anyway, Snowy. At least we got rid of those two goons. Now to find the crashed plane. Snowy, there's the plane. Some boys already investigating the crash. It's the same plane, all right. I suppose you also want to know who owns the aircraft. You mean somebody else was checking on this plane? Right, oh. There's a chap over there looking it over now. All right, mister, don't move. Blister and barnacles, Tintin, me boy. Captain, how did you get here? The police had nothing on me. I knew you'd be looking for the plane. But the Thompsons know it too. We better get out of here. Let's see what Snowy's up to. Looks like Snowy's found something. Mighty excited about something. Oh, no. It's nothing but an old bone. Just another false alarm. Oops. <laughs> Captain, what happened? Look what I found hidden in this old tree. Coveralls, the kind flyers use. Hmm, let's see if there's any identification, Captain. Hey, look what I found in the pocket. So who needs those scraps of paper? I told you to burn that paper. Quit worrying. If we can put this jigsaw puzzle together, we might have some answers. Hmm, Sussex, Mueller. Hear that? He's got the name of Mueller. A lot of good it'll do him. Right, like the pirates used to say, dead men tell no tales. Will Tintin live long enough to solve this puzzle? Don't miss, trapped.
the next exciting episode of Jose's Adventures of Tintin. Produced by Teleoset and Bellvision. Black Island Trapped Tintin's search finally led him to the crashed plane, but the pilots were gone. Later, Captain Haddock accidentally discovered some of the missing pilots' clothes. And in the pockets, they found scraps of paper with the words Sussex and Mueller written on them. But they were being watched. Looks like we found some kind of secret message, Tintin. Hmm. Sussex is where we are now, and Mueller must be somebody's name. And Eastbury? Maybe Mueller lives in Eastbury. What if they find Mueller? They won't. There's got to be an answer to this riddle. Let's go to the police. They're good at riddles. I can't go to the police. They still think I robbed that man at the airport. We'll have to solve this mystery by ourselves. First, we'll find this Mueller. They won't find Mueller. Wait! Let him go to Mueller's place. Mueller will be ready for him. We got to get to a phone quick. Wow, it's a long way to Eastbury. Right, boss. They're on the way over. We will be expecting them. I hope this ain't a wild goose chase, me boy. A car? Maybe we can hitch a ride. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. This is no time for long explanations. All that, you gumshoes. Tintin's no crook. Think it over. A good detective never thinks, he acts. Hurry, Snowy. Tintin, stop. We're only doing our duty. Hey, wait for me. He can't be far. That's odd. He just disappeared. Which way did he go? You mean that boy with the dog? Huh? Well, he went that away. Thanks, old timer. I knew he couldn't outsmart us. You stool pigeon, you shouldn't have snitched on the lad. Tintin is no crook. <coughs> you better take something for that cough, mister. Oh, I will, I will. <coughs> Tin Tin! Oh, it's, I knew it was you all along. <laughs> anyway, I fooled the Thompsons. Let's get out of here before they come back. I'm sure Tin Tin turned left here. Wait, Tin Tin couldn't have turned left. Why not? Impossible. The sign plainly says, no left turn. I hated to trick the Thompsons, but we've got to find this Mueller. Captain, look! Thunder and typhoons, Dr. Muller. Careful, lad. Nobody around. Snowy. Snowy. What a monster, and he's after Snowy. This way, Snowy, quick. Here goes. That'll teach that mutt to pick on dogs his own size. Captain, is Snowy okay? We won, Tintin! We won! That's it, sailor. 
Keep your hands right where they are. We were expecting your little visit. Dr. Mueller, I presume? Ivan, we must take care of our guests. For good. Tintin has walked into a trap. Don't miss Murderous Muller. The next exciting episode of Perse's Adventures of Tintin. Produced by Delia Set and Belvision. And the next. Ivan, it's such a beautiful day. Let's take our guests for a little ride. Okay, boss. I'll tell our associates we have everything under control. Hello, operator. Get me Scotland. Kill talk. 2260. Hello, Beard. Muller here. Operation T is under control. Of course. He's here right now. And his friend, the captain, also. Don't worry. These troublemakers will be eliminated at once. So. So what? Watch it, Tintin. He's got a gun. What's up, boss? Is this a private fight or can anybody join? Hurry, Captain! Stop! This will stop you! Miss! <laughs> but they can't get out that way. They're trapped. Uh-oh. What's this? <laughs> Some kind of laboratory. They won't get out of there alive. No use locking the door, friends. This will unlock any door. Those guys mean business. Hey. What an odd smell. It smells like chloroform. Boss, quick. The house is on fire! Fire! Call the fire department! Ivan! Over here, Ivan! The place is on fire, boss! Fire? Quick, Ivan! Out this window! Sounds like they left! Careful, Tintin! It might be a trap! Captain, look! Smoke! Captain, the place is on fire! Captain! Captain! Oh, he's out! Sleep. Snap out of it, Captain. We out of here quick. <laughs> Snowy, he's passed out too. We got out just in time, eh, Ivan? That fire will do our job for us. Snowy, wake up! You gotta... Uh, this is no time to... Uh, go to sleep. But I... I can't keep my... My eyes open. I... I gotta open the window. <coughs> Have Tintin and his friends met a fiery end? Don't miss... Inferno! The next exciting episode of Hershey's Adventures of Tintin. <laughs> Produced by Kelly Ashet and Belvision. Inferno! Tintin and Captain Haddock were captured by Dr. Muller, but Tintin got loose. The angry doctor threw a burning log, catching the drapes on fire. Then, when Muller fired at Tintin, a shot broke a bottle of chloroform, causing Captain Haddock and Tintin to pass out in the burning building. Snowy. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh, that chloroform.
chloroform. I gotta open a window. I gotta, I gotta open that window. I, I can't make it. If I, if I can just lift this paperweight. Hey, look, there's somebody in there. Quick, Paul, give me a ladder. Hang on, men. Here they come. Careful, men. This one's passed out. Don't miss this one, men. Hey, what's the big idea? I don't need the help of no fire boy. Oh. oh, where am I? Don't worry, lad. With a little fresh air, you'll be as good as new. Oh, lucky those firemen got here in time. They didn't get here in time to save Muller's house. Nothing left but ashes. But that fire was lucky for us. Lucky? What do you mean, lucky? I made a discovery. Come, I'll show you. But watch your step. What a place to leave. That's how I discovered them, Tintin. I stumbled on them. This is a discovery. We'll see where they go. Hmm. The wires go up that tree. But why? Captain, look. A searchlight. Yeah. A red one. That's it. A red searchlight. Look at this note we found in the crook's pocket. 3RL means three red lights in a triangular position at Muller's house. Maybe you got something there, boy. Hmm. 1 a.m. That must be a date and a time. But that's today. Today is the 24th. We've waited till dark. And nothing happened. Quiet, Dinty. I hear something. A plane. But there's no airline routes near here. Quick, Captain. We gotta turn those searchlights on. But, Tintin, why the searchlights? You'll see if this garden switch works. It works. The plane dropped something by parachute. Where, boy? I don't see a thing. <laughs> Captain, look! Thunder and typhoons! Money! Millions of dollars! Will Tintin's millions bring him happiness or trouble? Don't miss the ghost of Black Island. The next exciting episode of Hershey's Adventures of Pinhead. Produced by Tully, Hachette, and Bellvision. Island. In the burning home of Dr. Miller, Tintin was out cold, but the fire department arrived in time to save Tintin and Haddock. Later, walking in Muller's garden, they spotted a mysterious plane as it dropped a bundle by parachute. When the plane flew off, they looked in the bag and found millions of dollars in cash. Uh, what are we doing at the airport, Tintin? I heard that Crook Mueller mention Kiltock 2-2. That's in Scotland, and that's where we're going. But Tintin, we're millionaires now. I'd like to put this cash back into circulation. But that money doesn't really belong to us, Captain. Oh, Tintin, you know the law. 
Losers, weepers, finders, keepers. <laughs> no, Captain, we're going to turn that money over to the police. Gentlemen, my name is Tintin. We know, we know. The Thompsons? Sorry, Tintin, but you're under arrest. But, but, uh, I can explain everything. Tell it to the judge. We gotta do something to get Tintin away from those dimwits. Uh, uh, gentlemen, look, money, millions. Uh, would you like a few samples? Money, 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 money. I just adore money. Quick, Captain, now's our chance. Run, boy, run! Stop! Halt! He tricks us. That money is counterfeit. The only way I can clear myself is to find the real crux. Snowy, look! A plane, just what we need. Stop that counterfeiter! Quick, Snowy! Hey, the plane! Bring back my plane! You have you grounded for that, Tin Tin. Good luck, boy. Tintin to control tower. I just borrowed one of your planes. Sorry, it was an emergency. I'll have it back shortly. That must be Kill Talk below. Hang on. Get that plane construction out of my garden, buddy. Sorry, sir, there's no airport. Now, I'll pay for the damages. Hey, Aye, there's a bunny lad after my own heart. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. I'm looking for a place with a phone number Kiltock 22. Kiltock 22? Zombie, that's Black Island. Who lives on Black Island? Lives? Uh, well, uh, nobody lives there. Uh, just the ghost of Black Island. Ghost? You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Aye, lad. We do. We're not afraid of ghosts. Why are we snowing? <laughs> I'd like to rent a boat to visit Black Island. Not my boat. But I'll sell you a boat, laddie. I can put you in this little beauty for a song. So, I wouldn't go to Black Island if I was you, laddie. Look, others went to Black Island and never come back. <laughs> What's that? That's it, laddie. The ghost of Black Island. Well, I'm dying to meet him. Dying is the right word, laddie. Well, Snowy, here we go. Next stop, Black Island. Too bad. Seemed like a nice laddie. Well, there she is, Snowy. Black Island. Easy, Snowy. An old castle. Careful, Snowy. This could be Dr. Mueller's hideout. Shh, Snowy. I got a feeling we're being watched. Oh, no! So that's the ghost of Black Island. What is this thing on Black Island? Don't miss Right in the Night. The next exciting episode of Pearl Jay's Adventures of Tin Tin. Produced by Sally Hushet and Belvision. And you can catch that next exciting episode next Wednesday at 5.50. Good afternoon in the company of the ever-youthful Tintin. Now in four, will Tintin ever escape the clutches of the monster of Black Island? Thursday's Adventures of Tintin. Black Island. The Beast of Black Island. 
On Black Island, Tintin was running from a mysterious gorilla. Tintin hid in a cave, but the water was rising and he was trapped. Then Snowy found a way out and they escaped. Later, Tintin met some counterfeiters and got the drop on them. But he was again face to face with the monster of Black Island. Get him, Ranko! Hurry, Snowy! After him, you big ape! Run, Snowy! He's right behind us! In here, Snowy! The door's locked. It's no use, Snowy. Maybe this block will stop him. Here goes. Now what? What? What's he up to now? Snowy, look out! No. What a break. Come on, Snowy. Rankos finished his job by now. Snowy, come back! We've got to get off Black Island while we've got the chance. Oh, we're in luck. A radio transmitter. Sounds like somebody sending messages. If I can just surprise them. Hey! Who the... What the... Sorry, mister, but I must borrow your radio. Tintin, on Black Island, calling. All police units near Black Island need help. Urgent. Tintin, on Black Island, calling. Send help at once. Urgent. Repeat. Tintin, on Black Island, calling. It's Tintin, in the radio room. Let me handle him. Urgent. Send police to Black Island. <laughs> He's getting away. Get him. Oh, no. I'm trapped. I can't go down. And I can't jump. Wow. Tintin's time is running out. Don't miss Battle of Black Island. The next exciting episode of Perse's Adventures of Tintin. Produced by Delia Shet and Bellvision. Perse's Adventures of Tintin. Black Island. Battle of Black Island. As Tintin ran from the big gorilla, Snowy was caught. But Snowy's barks frightened the big ape, allowing Tintin to escape. Unfortunately, Muller was right behind. Tintin ran for his life, but he found himself trapped with no way out. We've got Tintin cornered this time. I'd hate to have to use this gun, Doctor. So don't come one step closer. He's bluffing. Come on. I warned you. We will wait. Time is on our side. He can't hold out much longer. Wow, I'm almost out of ammunition. But I've still got a chance. Come down, Tintin, or we're coming up after you. Okay, come on up. Good. Look out! That stopped him for a little while. But if the police didn't get my message, I'm sunk. Wow, it's the police. Helicopters. They got my call for help. Hey, here I am! Down here! They got here just in time. Lister and Barnacle. There's Tintin on that castle tower. Land this windmill. The wind blew me off course. I'll have to circle the island and try again. 
away. They're going away. Maybe they didn't see me. Looks like he's got me cornered this time. Snowy! 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 Oh, I wonder where Snowy is. I, I can't even jump. <laughs> Snowy, you've got that big ape buffaloed. <laughs> nice work, Snowy. Imagine a big gorilla like that being afraid of a little dog like you. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Snowy, look, the helicopters are back. Thunder and typhoons, quit rocking the boat. Ah, that's more like it. Thanks, sailor. <gasps> Shiver me timbers. It's a big monkey. Relax, Captain. He won't hurt you. He's friendly. Why, he's even afraid of Snowy. <laughs> I, I hope you're right, Tintin. Anyway, you're safe. That's all that counts. Our troubles are over. Hands up. Oh, it's the Bobsy twin. I told you I am not a criminal. Well, somebody around here is. There's your real crooks down there. The police have the whole gang rounded up. An international gang of counterfeiters. Counterfeiters? Why, that's against the law. It's even illegal. The crooks kept people away from Black Island by scaring them with a gorilla's growls, amplified by loudspeakers. Can you imagine anyone being as scared of a monkey's howl? <laughs> That big ape made a monkey out of all of us. <laughs> Thursday's Adventures of Tintin. Produced by Teleoset and Bellvision. <laughs>